Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and today we get to look at something very cool indeed. This is a premium padlock pick set, a lever padlock pick set at that from GJ Locks. Let me just take it all out of this box and I'll show you what we have. And for the purposes of full disclosure, as always, this set was given to me by GJ Locks for the purposes of review and to keep. All thoughts my own, no money exchanges hands, and I do not share the content of this video with GJ Locks before it gets published. We get this very, very nicely machined, multi-tip receiving turning handle to apply torque or what we'd like to call tension sometimes as hobbyists to the lock. And we get two tips, which you can see here has sort of a, a pin and socket arrangement which slides in and to stop it coming back out, have a screw on the underside which you just finger tighten and that's not going anywhere. The reason that works is because underneath here got a little notch for the tip of that screw to uh, just receive into. Uh, this one is a piped tip, so this is uh, a piped key, looks like a pipe. There is an upstand or post in the center of some locks, here is an example of that. And that's why you need a piped tensioning tip. And here you have a tip for non-piped keyways and again that would just work the same make sure it slides into the back finger tight and that's not going to go anywhere either this will allow you to put this into the lock turn it get tension on the talon at the back of the padlock and you should be able to pick it but to pick it of course you'll need some wires and wires these are just gonna rattle everyone aren't they <laughs> um, wires yet yeah, we get three wires here and these are, uh, these are finished. They are just flattened down the different lengths. I tend to try to go for the shorter one first. You may need to just modify these down to the right size depending on the lock. And I'll come on to that in a minute. Then you get this, and I have to say, I really do like this handle. It's got a, like a little uh, ball detent, is that what you call them? And it's a, uh, lozenge shape, ovaloid shape handle. And depending on how you like to um, basically put the wire in, you can have it in a couple of different configurations. So the first one would be that you put your wire in um, whichever handedness you want. That would go in there. Then you'd literally just slide this cover, and this feels like it's made of aluminium, and it just slides over and that locks it in. If you want it to come out this way, maybe that's more comfortable to you, like a longer handle, then that shouldn't be a problem. You should just be able to flip this over and again, you can put it in either side, depending on which way you want it in. Just pop that down, get the cover, slide it on, it's all dovetailed. And yeah, you can do it that way. I do prefer it the other way personally, but that is what you get to do. Now, what locks can you pick with, uh, with with this tool? So it has to be said that first of all, you can buy replacement tips of this uh, for, for this tool. And you might think, why do I need replacement tips? It's because each of your lever padlocks may require a modification of a tip like this, depending on which padlock you want to pick. And GJ Locks primarily uh, markets to locksmiths and locksmiths who pick a lot of lead locks know that they are somewhat idiosyncratic and you tend to need to modify your tools for the locks that you um, you you see most often so this tip here for example is designed for things like the era 5 lever insurance padlock pipe key goes in and I can feel that I can get that bolt talon really nicely if you look here at the length of the um, tensioning tip here and the actual key it's very 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 close now that's great the fact that we can actually get in there and we can um, tension a lock like that with this tip but if I came across something like one of these vintage belfry locks very common in the UK still see them around quite a lot nice lock actually now look I can get the tip in but I can't feel that I've got tension. Why can't I get tension? It's because the actual tension tip on this is too long for that particular lock. So if I was trying to pick this lock, I'd need to file down that tip. By filing down that tip, this would be then perfect for picking these but too short for the eras. 
And that is just lever locks for you. There are so many lever locks in the UK of, var of varieties. You've got obviously Walsall do them, Chubb, Era, Squire, uh, Belfry, there's uh, all sorts of other ones which I, I, I can't even remember off the top of my head and you know they may need some modifications and the same goes for a tip like this which is designed for things like the Chubb battleship and you can see that this would be a good uh, size tensioning tip for a Chubb battleship like this however it might be too short or too long for other uh, locks which would be very easy to use this tip in. For example, the Squire. Um, that might just be about right, but it also might be too wide to go into that keyway, so it might need to just file off the edges, for example. Um, same with the Squire Valiant and Defiant. I think this is a Defiant. And again, you might need to just modify the tip so you even get it into the lock in the first place. It's just a little bit too wide. So. Whilst this is a good starter set for a few different padlock types, it can pick natively. If you want to pick a range of padlocks, you will need to get uh, a few copies of these tips if you're going to um, pick a lot of lever padlocks to make sure that you had a tip for uh, a specific lock or, in some cases, locks. So let's give this tool a tryout. We're going to try and pick this um, era five lever insurance padlock. I really like this lock, it's such a nice looking thing, isn't it? And we'll give it a go with a, a, an appropriate pick wire and uh, see if we get an open. So I have my five lever era insurance padlock in the vise, make sure it all works, make sure it all locks back up. We're going to just tape up the flap so it doesn't get in our way and annoy me. Uh, I have the tool of choice for the lock, which is going to go in here like that. I can feel I've got a good bite on that talon. I've taken one of the wires and I have just shortened it slightly to my liking for this lock. As I said, um, you need to have the right tips and wires for the, the lock and I can put on a good amount of tension here and I can just go along and just feel for what's binding. So this is lever one here two, three, little movement, four, five. Okay, so back to the front. Two, three, it's not binding. Four, five. Just increase that tension a little bit and just moving along the lock ever so gently. So just on lever one again, two, three, Four, five. Five moved a little bit. Four feels set. Three, two, one feels good. Two, three, just moving that. Four and five. Okay, sort of feels good. Go along here. Ah, oh, just hit four and we have the open. Nice and quick. Good. <laughs> Wriggle out all the tools and there we go. So we can take the tape off and you can see that this is now fully open. Let's have a go with this tip. I'll need to modify it to be the right sort of size for any one of these locks. So and that'll just involve me just filing down the sides of this tip to make sure that it's uh, as wide as it can be while also getting into the keyway. Um, I also want to keep it as long as it can be so that uh, so you can see this keyway is a bit shorter, these ones are a bit longer. So I want to pick one of these locks because you can always shorten, you can't lengthen. For my sins, I chose a Chubb Battleship, which is a six lever high security padlock and um, not an easy pick, but we'll give it a go anyway. I have filed down the sides of this non-piped tip so it can go into that skinny keyway, but I didn't have to reduce the length of the tip at all, which is good if I want to modify it for other locks. And I have a thicker picking wire here, which should be just about right. So pop the tip in all the way to the back, grab my tool, put that in like this. There we go, turn it all around, apply some tension and we're going to very gently walk these uh, levers up starting with like one, two, 
three, four, five, and six. And what we're doing is we're trying not to overset them because these do like to be overset. So it's just about being very, very gentle as we go across each of these, the bellies of each of the uh, levers, and we just try to just tap them until they reach their gate. They feel like the binding. Two, three, four there. Two again, three a bit more, four, five, a little bit on six, two, three, four, five, a little bit on six, five, four, three, two, oh no, that's one actually, two, three, four, five. Five lifted quite high there. So do one, two, three. Little turn in on three. Four, little movement. That's one, that feels fine. Two. Three feels good. Four, and we are open. This is a relatively quick pick for um, one of these. And I think that part of the reason why is that um, I was able to put a firm amount of tension on with this uh, tool. While if you use a cut down key, you don't get quite the same amount of confidence in being able to turn this in. I mean, just look how thick the steel is on this and it's custom made. It's not a, uh, like I said, a file down key or anything like that. Oh, let me show you that it's open. So yeah, it's um, very, very, very effective. So there you go. Um, what do I think to this tool? Uh, pros, cons, that kind of thing. Well, pros, as you saw, it is really, really effective. Um, the original multi-pick tip lever lock, which can be used for door locks, um, that kind of stuff, uh, is a bit longer. It's good if you're picking door locks, but for padlocks where you need to be a bit closer to the lock, it's more comfortable. This stubby tip is excellent. You can see how well it's been machined and how well it's been thought through regarding these interchangeable tips, the way that they sort of lock and locate in. They're not going anywhere. And this whole thing, because it's been uh, machined uh, so well, gives you confidence in being able to put the right amount of tension uh, on your lock to get you that best pick. I mean, just look at that Chubb Battleship pick, for example, that um, at least for me was an incredibly quick pick. And I think it's because I was able to put that good tension control onto the lock. The tips themselves are, well, as you can see, again, just well machined, well thought through. You don't have to do any work yourself. You don't have to find blank keys and file them down. And you know that the keys are made out of um, materials which a mixture of sort of brass and other alloys which are just not as strong. So yeah, what else do I like about this? Uh, it comes with three pick wires, which is really, really nice. Yes, you can make your own. Yes, you can, you know, I mean, if you do do any leave lock picking, making your own wires is basically where you should start anyway. This one I used for the battleship. This one I shortened down so I could pick the, uh, was it the Squire? I can't, no, no, it's the, the Era 5 lever, that's right. And these work fine. The nice bit about the wires is the handle. I just love this sort of lozengy, overloid, um, dovetailed, detented uh, handle. I just think it's just so nice. It's comfortable, it works, it snaps on and off. You can change your wires so easily. You don't need any sort of screws or anything. And the whole thing, you do not need screws for. You, uh, you can, tighten this with finger tight this slides on and off with a ball detent um so there's so much to like about this set very very effective um very strong very durable gives you confidence with the locks negatives well i think the negative is not a negative to anybody who's an experienced picker or a professional which is 
whilst these tips can pick a whole range of locks, so more than you see here, I think that the um, Walsall Ace padlocks as well as the Squires and, and all these other ones, they can be picked with these tips. But the caveat is you will actually have to have a uh, an experience in shaping your tools to fit the lock. So it is the right tip for the right lock. These um, uh, out of the, the pack, if you like, are limited. This one tip here definitely works in the era five lever insurance padlock, but would need modification to, as I said earlier, um, pick something like the Belfry. Now there are tips available, but this isn't a set where you can just pick it up and pick 10 different types of padlocks. That isn't the case. Theoretically you could, but you would need either more tips or yeah, that's, that's really about it. You need to, to, to get some more tips. If you're not confident at modifying your own tools to fit the locks that you want to pick because you may have different locks available to you then um, this isn't a great set for you because you do need to be able to shape your tools to fit the lock and that comes on to the other thing which is price this is about 154 UK pounds um, that includes VAT uh, at the time of making this video obviously prices go up and down over time you know that, and that doesn't include shipping or anything like that. Uh, and you can buy this, anybody can buy this. This is not restricted for locksmiths only. It's on the sidebar of the GJ Locks website. Uh, so I would say that if you're a beginner lever picker and you're just curious about uh, picking some, some padlocks, this might not be a good place to start. However, if you're intermediate or you are an intermediate picker or you are an, a very experienced, uh, competent picker or a professional, I, I couldn't recommend this enough for what it does. You will need to probably buy a few more tips and the price won't scare you if you're really into um, this type of picking or you need this for your job. And what you get, of course, is very high quality, um, durable, professional grade tools. But like I said, probably not suitable, um, either cost or the fact that you have to modify the tools, uh, the wires and the tips uh, for certain locks, not suitable for beginners. So there's some real pros and cons there. I think that whether you like this tool will depend on what sort of picker you are, where you are in your picking journey and your level of experience with lever locks in general. What do you think to this set? I'd love to know your comments. I do read them all and I'll reply to as many as I can. Drop them below, um, that would be fantastic. If you like this video, please leave a like. Um, certainly picking that battleship in that time definitely deserves a like, right? If you <laughs> think I am, um, uh, deserve your subscription that really helps my channel out please subscribe if you haven't already to watch more content like this uh, and of course happy picking stay safe and I'll see you all next time